Hey everyone, welcome back to the Men's Essentials channel. Today I want to talk about the Casio CA53 WF 8B, which is the Casio databank. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically the calculator watch that's pretty popular um, and has been around for a while. Um, I've always wanted one of these, but then I was at the store the other day and I saw their white version of it. So I just want to give a quick review and talk about it. Um, again, guys, on this channel, Men's Essentials, I'm going to be making videos about watches, sunglasses, um men's grooming products just anything that i think is a men's essential so if that's something you are interested in please like and subscribe and let's get into this watch so um i was walking around the store the other day and i walked by the jewelry section of walmart and i saw this watch um i had always int been intrigued by the state bank it's just a classic watch in my opinion it's really cool i had never seen the what they call their white version um to me it looks more like a tan like a light tan color um so i decided to buy it because it was only 19.99 around 20 dollars. i thought it was a good deal and it's always good to add a, another watch to your collection right um so anyway uh, yeah, I bought it. It was a bit smaller than I expected. I think it still looks good on, on my wrist. One downside of this watch is the buttons on the side and the, the buttons themselves on the face of the watch. I mean, it's again, to me, it's not that big of a deal just because I like, I think this watch is super cool. I think it still looks great. Um, but those buttons on the side, like you saw back there, they are small if you're needing to adjust, <clears throat> um, your, your information, your time or setting the timer on here. Um, but that's not a big deal to me. That's really the only negative in my opinion. Um, but anyway, getting onto the face of the watch here, I like how it's got a black background and the numbers are lighter white color. That's something else that I think is really cool. Um, the rubber band or the band, um, does not feel really to me, at least it doesn't feel that flimsy. It, it, you can tell that it is cheaper, but it's not super flimsy. So that's not a big deal. Uh, looking at the back here, it's got the Casio information about this watch engraved there. Um, but yeah, regarding the band, if you guys want something sturdier this might not be the watch for you just to be completely honest it doesn't feel as sturdy as other watches um but again for me i just got this watch because of the um just the history and what i consider the coolness of this watch um it, it is light on the wrist so you know if you want something that's light and useful it, it's not gonna feel heavy so i would recommend it for that reason um, um, one cool thing that I read, read about this watch is that you can set it to beep every hour on the hour. Um, a few benefits of that, in my opinion, is that could be a good reminder for you to stand up and go walk around. I know that there are some smart watches that have that feature <laughs> where they like vibrate or something and they tell you to stand up and go on a walk or take a few steps. Um, but you don't have to pay, you know, $300 or more for a smartwatch to remind you to do that when this thing could just beep every hour and it'll remind you to stand up. So that's one good thing. At least that's how I've used it. So, <laughs> and of course this watch is water resistant, maybe swimming with it isn't the best idea or diving with it. Um, but if you're swimming in shallow water, it's probably okay. Um, according to the website, the accuracy is plus or minus 15 seconds per month. That's something I'm going to keep an eye on. I don't know how often I'll wear this watch. Again, for me, guys, this watch was just an addition to my collection because I think it's a classic historical watch that I just want to keep, keep in my collection. And I will wear it sometimes, mostly with sporty outfits or whatever. Um, but it's definitely a watch I think every collector should own. Um... One interesting fact about this watch, or the the history of this watch, the first data bank that came out, I think, was in 1985. And it actually had three different buttons. And then in 1988, I believe, 
they came out with some other models that had four buttons um but now with this one you actually only get two buttons so um there are actually a few good videos on youtube that i looked around um that explain that go into a deep tutorial on how to use this watch so if you guys are interested just look up other videos that'll show you how to use it i might make one myself in the future but today i just wanted to make a really quick review on what i like about this watch and why i like it um again for me it's a piece of history just to be completely honest watch history it's cool looking just a classic good watch let me know what you guys think if you have this watch or if you recommend anything else um again guys thanks for stopping by men's essentials please like and subscribe i will talk to you next time have a great day